The tight Brands Hatch Indy circuit hosted the opening rounds of the 2013 Dunlop MSA British Touring Car Championship. The new season boasted a capacity 32 car entry plus four proven champions. Defending champ Gordon Shedden, long-time adversaries Matt Neal and Jason Plato, plus Colin Turkington, who returned to the series with a brand new BMW 125i M Sport. Turkington's weekend, though, got off to the worst possible start when he spun in qualifying and was collected by newcomer Jack Goff's Vauxhall insignia, meaning the Ulsterman would start race one from the back of a packed grid. As the lights went out, Jordan made a good getaway, but it was the fast-starting Audi of Rob Austin that grabbed the early lead from seventh on the grid. Both Shedden and Neil were forced to pit with accident damage as first Plato and then Jordan slipped past the early leader. In a dramatic conclusion, the Honda man then attempted a last gasp pass on the MG as the pair entered the final corner. The cars touched and spun into the gravel trap, but luckily both managed to scrabble back onto the track for Plato to claim his 75th BTCC win from a recovering Jordan and Austin. Plato then made it win number 76 with a pillar to post victory in race two, with Jordan again finishing hot on the heels of the MG. Behind them, the two factory Hondas of Shed and Neil battled back from their earlier dramas to bag the first points with a strong third and fifth place finish. The Scots glory was short-lived though, as he was later excluded from the results for a technical infringement. The reverse grid put Matt Jackson on pole for the day's final race, but the opening laps were interrupted by a huge accident when Dave Newsham's spinning Toyota was clipped by Austin's Audi. After a safety car period to clear the debris, Jackson ran wide, handing the lead to Matt Neal. It was a lead that Neal held to the flag. Behind him, Shedden produced a champion's drive to cut through the pack to finish second, with Sam Tordoff claiming a maiden podium finish in third place in the second of the MGs. After the dust settled, Louise caught up with Matt Neal. Matt, great to uh, to end the weekend uh, here at Brands Hatch with a win. Uh, this weekend's thrown a lot of things up in the air, and um, we've had the new soft tyre coming in, and uh, I was expecting a disaster with that, but it's actually been uh, not bad at all. It's been a good alternative and could uh, see it really mixed up now. Now, looking forward to, to Donington in a few weeks' time. That's a, a circuit that you, that you always enjoy. I hope so. I mean, it's, it's my home circuit. It's where I had my first ever BTCC win uh, with the £250,000 check off Allen. But, um, you know, it's been, uh, Jason's been a strong one to beat this weekend, but he's going to be carrying a bit of weight. We tested their pre season, and uh, the Hondas and the MGs and some of the Toyotas were all neck and neck. So it's going to be uh, a real good fight for pole. It's also going to be a memorable weekend because you celebrate your, uh, your BTCC half century, 500th, uh, 500th race. Apparently, <laughs> I am told this, but I stopped counting a small while ago. But uh, yeah, it's it, the first time I ever went and saw Encounter BTCC really was at Donington Park when I was 17 years old. And I got myself up there before the M42 motorway was even built. So it's going to be uh, especially special um, moment for me, and I hope we can get some great results for the team again. See you there. Thanks.